Good morning. Today is Wednesday, March 25th. What day comes after Wednesday? Did you say Thursday? You're right. What day comes before Wednesday? That's right. It's Tuesday. Today is the 25th of March. Is 25 an even number or an odd number? It's an odd number because it ends in five. Our card shows us that the two on the other side really says that there's two groups of 10, 10, 20. And the five tells us that there's five more and there's just not enough to make another group of 10. Let's count this together. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Class, let's take a look at our 100s chart. I hope that you're practicing counting to 100 every day. But let's see which numbers have been turned around. Hmm. There's a number up here between the numbers 8 and 10. What is it? It's 9. What about here between 23 and 25? You're right, it's 24. And we have another one on that row, right between 26 and 28. You guessed it, it's 27. And then we have one here between 42 and 44. It's 43. And then between 56 and 58. 57. Good job. Good morning, class. Today, we are going to take a look at counting pennies and nickels. And I'd like for you to practice this a lot at home. Get out your piggy bank and count pennies and nickels and dimes. But today, we're just going to look at pennies and nickels. Here, I have a whole bunch of pennies and nickels. And the first thing that we're going to do is divide them into two groups. We're going to put all of our pennies together and all of our nickels together. Sometimes it helps to put them into a line or a nice group so that we know which ones we've counted. And then we're going to start with the one that's worth the most. And so we're going to start here with our nickels. How much is a nickel worth? It's worth five cents. So when we count them, we're going to count by five. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. So we have twenty-five cents in nickels. How do we know that a coin is a nickel? Well, on our coins, on one of the sides, there's a beaver. And it says five cents right on the coin. And on the other side, we have a picture of Queen Elizabeth. If your coin has a beaver on it, and it says five cents, then you know it's a nickel. Let's count this again. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. When we come up here, we can't count by five anymore because these are pennies. So we're gonna to add to 25. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So all together, we have 30 cents. I have some more coins here. So we're gonna count these as well. And the first thing that we do when we're counting coins is we separate them into groups of like coins. And then we start with the largest amount first. And so our nickels are five cents. So we'll count those first because our pennies are only worth one cent. Five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. We have 18 cents. I have some more coins here. Remember, when we're counting coins, the first thing we do is we separate our coins into groups of coins that are the same. 
Oh, I tricked you this time. This one does not have a beaver on it. It does not say five cents. This one is 10 cents. And I'm going to put it here because we're going to start counting with that one because it is worth the most. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53. We have 53 cents. Let's skip count by the number four. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-eight, thirty-two, thirty-six, forty, forty-four, and forty-eight. Counting fours is really great. Today we're going to skip count by seven, and this is also a new one for you. So listen to it and then try it again. Seven, fourteen, twenty-one, twenty-eight, thirty-five, forty-two and forty-nine, fifty-six and sixty-three, seventy, seventy-seven, eighty-four. We've been learning to tell time on our clock. Do you remember how many seconds are in a minute? That's right, there's sixty seconds. Do you remember how many minutes are in an hour? That's right, there are also 60. What about how many hours in one day? Did you know that there are 24? Hmm, our clock only goes up to 12. So how would we have 24 hours in a day? That's because the hour hand goes around the clock twice every day. That's why you could maybe get up at seven o'clock in the morning and maybe your bedtime is seven o'clock at night. There's two seven o'clocks, one in the morning and one at night. And maybe you might start school or get to school at eight o'clock in the morning and then you're in bed at 8 o'clock at night. Maybe you're having a snack at 10 o'clock in the morning and sleeping at 10 o'clock at night. Let's take a look at some times and I'm going to see if you can tell me what time it is. What time is it? It's 11 o'clock. What time is it? It's 12 o'clock. What time is it? It's 1 o'clock. What time is it? It's 2 o'clock.